Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and this week I plan on finishing up a bunch of the jobs I've already started on the interior. Alright guys, one of the big concerns people keep bringing up, and, uh, and, and I agree, is that the carpet in here doesn't really match what else is going on. And um, I went for a bit of a look uh, a couple of weeks ago to try and find an alternative, and try, I was trying to find something that actually matched the tan leather, but uh, I realised how rich a colour this is, that you don't actually seem to get carpets that are anywhere near this colour. You get browns and tans, but they're, um, they're often a lot more muted than this, so that nothing matched close. I decided the best look, I think, to match in everything else is black carpet. So um, my first job here, I think, will be put some black carpet in. I've got all my bits laid out and uh, as you can see I bought a bit more carpet this time so I'm not going to run out and uh, I've got enough to do the centre console part as well which I really prefer to having uh, the carpet than have to stuff around and build it out of leather. Yeah so now I just mark it out, cut it out and then we've got uh, our new carpet pieces for the car. So now I've dug up my original uh, centre panels and uh, I'm laying them out now so I can cut them out of my black carpet and, uh, and finish off the centre console. Alright, now I've just got to put some carpet over these little bits and most of the carpet should be looking pretty good. Alright, I'll let that set up, um, but uh, I just took the cover off of this panel here and it's, it's dented and rusted and not looking that great, so I need to fix this up and uh, at least give it some sort of anti-rust treatment before I uh, Chuck it back in the car to continue to rust. All right, while I'm waiting for the rust converter to do its job, I've got these other pieces off the car to uh, prep up and get looking pretty before I put them back on. These strips here go on either side inside the door that hold the carpet down and um, there's a little bit of uh, mess around the edge of the glove box which I probably should have sorted out before I actually glued the vinyl onto it but uh, I'll clean it up and mask it up and paint that black and then I've got a heap of these little cup washers. They all need to be black and they'll go in with a trim piece with my uh, nice uh, countersunk allen head bolts and uh, should look nice and neat on all the trim, so let's start getting all this stuff black. Alright, a little bit of work with the hammer and dolly, and this is looking pretty decent now. It's actually got the nice curve back on the top of it. Before it was pressed in, dented, I'm sure I've rested on it and stuff in the past, and it had some kinks around the edge and stuff. Rust proofed, I've just got to uh, clean it up and, uh, and paint it. I've got my little captive nuts. They go in with Focus countersunk Allen head bolts. They look quite nice, neat and tidy, so I'm gonna go through now and replace uh, the ones I used on the back and um, Get them starting to look nice. All right, 
right, my next job is to mount up this trim piece for the carpet. So um, this runs along the door edge, something along those lines there. Now, originally it's screwed in, just screwed into the sheet metal, and um, I want it a bit neater than that. So I think, again, I can use those cup washers and the Allen head bolts. Along here will look nice and neat and, uh, and give it a nice, neat, solid finish. Like I've done for the door trims and everything else, now I need to line everything up where I want it, drill the holes, put in the rib nuts, and then I can screw everything together. Alright, so these two bits here actually go into the kick panels of the car. So I've sewn on these little bits of vinyl because um, I'll take you down here and I'll show you how these are actually held on. Um, so I just sewed a couple of bits of the vinyl onto these kick panel pieces because they actually go in this corner here and the way they actually connect to the car is this vinyl has to wrap around and go underneath this rubber here so it'll wrap under and finish it all off nicely. Another thing I've also noted is that now I've put this door strip on, because of the thickness of the sound deadening and carpet in here, it sits up a little higher than it would have originally. So I think I'm going to go through and put a strip of vinyl wrapped around this edge, just so that it gives a nice neat black finish the whole way through that last little neat bit of finish. This is all coming together quite nicely. It's all uh, looking quite neat and tidy. So my next job I'm going to tackle is uh, putting on the armrests. And that means putting the seats in so that I can get everything lined up so that I can actually reach it when I'm in the seat. So um, let's chuck some seats in. Alright, so I marked out where I want my armrests to go and before I drill anything, just to make sure that I can actually put them here. So I think my next task before I go putting rib nuts and stuff in that may interfere with the window mechanism is I need to start reassembling the inside of the door. So that means uh, window mechanisms in and um, maybe even some windows. Alright, so I'm going to install my window winding mechanisms. Um, I suppose I better give them a clean up and uh, grease them up, make sure they're all sort of working properly before I stuff around putting them in and then struggle getting windows up and down. So, cleaning time. I've just sat the window mechanism in the car while I'm uh, waiting for the paint to dry on the window and I'm just realizing that putting the windows in is a bit more work than uh, I'm going to be able to tackle today. There's a fair bit of cleaning and then there's the window frames and there's lots of other bits and pieces so I think for the moment I can see now that I've put this in here that there's plenty of room for me to mount the armrest where I want to mount, mount it so I can at least start mounting up the armrest and see if we can at least get that part um, sorted out. Well, hopefully, you start getting the idea that the interior is a bit more cohesive. I definitely uh, 
agree with the masses that the black carpet is definitely a much better option. It uh, it really ties it all together, works well with the, the black on the back of the seats here and stuff. So a little bit more tidying up to do, but uh, the interior is really, really getting there. And you can see that I've trimmed all along this edge here, done those corners. I've got my nice little fixings in the uh, in the door now, which look really nice. Definitely starting to come together, so I think it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hi guys. Title on Porsches is not a new thing. It was first introduced back in the 1970s. Now back in the 1700s, the Scottish were known for their tartan dress. And after the British defeated them in the Battle of Culloden in 1746, the wearing of tartan was outlawed. So as such, historically, it has been seen as the sign of the rebel. In the 1970s, it resurfaced as part of the punk movement and again came to be known as the rebel mark. I like to think that's why Porsche chose it. And also, I guess, why Jeff chose it. Guys, uh, so I'm quite excited because uh, we've got our new segment, Mail Time. I've actually got my first couple of letters from some of you guys, so uh, I'm anxious to see what they are and uh, and share them. Hi Jeff and Mrs. Jeff. Please find enclosed a prestigious 111 racing sticker for your workshop. Uh, I've been a fan of your YouTube channel for several months now and like to watch both the car build and the house renovations. Being a carpenter, I love to see how you overcome the challenges presented to you in renovating your house. I particularly like your secret hallway cupboards. As you can see in the photo enclosed, I have a very similar car to the one you are building. Mine's a 1974 RS replica, built on a 73 chassis. Uh, our race team is called 111 Racing and we compete in Targa Australia events throughout Tasmania and Victoria. Keep up the great work, mate. Cheers, Chris, Porsche Fran from Tasmania. And there's a bunch of pictures of his car. Very cool. So it's basically the opposite of what mine is, because mine's a 74 to look like a 73, and yours is a 73 to look like a 74. That is awesome. First one, it gets pride of place right in the centre. Thank you very much, Chris. Next, from Belfast in Northern Ireland. Jeff, greetings from Belfast. Something to put your tea on and some magnets for your fridge slash toolbox. Keep up the great, keep up the great resto. Can't wait to see it in action, Martin Sam. Thank you very much, Martin. Let's have a look at what uh, what we've got. The Irish seasons. Hey, had some Irish magnets. That's awesome. Thanks a lot, Martin. And uh, I'll gradually, hopefully, cover this completely in stuff from around the world. All right, that's fantastic. Thank you very much, Martin and Chris, to be the first uh, the first ones to uh, contribute to the uh, the home built wall of stuff. If you want to send something for me to open in uh, in mail time, just send it to PO Box 1520 Barrel, New South Wales 2576 Australia. All right, guys, that's it for another week. Um, I'm very happy with how things are coming out. I think the black carpet looks a lot better. I agree. <laughs> okay, uh, I've succumbed to peer pressure, but uh, yeah, it's it's looking good. The armrests and stuff are going on, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to next week because hopefully I can start putting some glass back in the car which would be amazing. So um, as always, please like and subscribe to my channel, Home Built by Jeff, and you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the same place. See you guys. Okay. So you can actually get out there, you won't get stuck. You've got door handles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How hard is it to get it out? Definitely doable. Yeah. I need like a, a grab bar. Yeah. I've got these stupid Yeah, seats. it's just kind of, um, you've got to kind of go down and up. Yeah, to get out.